I've been having issues coming up with an actual decent bite-sized topic because the one I'm working on now that was supposed to be bite-sized is actually going to end up being almost 40 freaking minutes. And I hate it. But I did figure out something. Always eat the one you love. I was playing Life Makeover and I decided to make Heather's inspired outfits, specifically the Heather's musical. And while I was doing so, my attention was constantly on their skirts. In the musical, the Heathers are more uniformed and they're mainly differentiated by their appearance and their color. Chandler being red, McNamara being yellow, and Duke being green, with Veronica as their temp member being blue. And through color symbolism, that tells us a lot about them as individuals. How However, their skirts also do this job. First, Chandler. The pattern of her skirt is plaid, which makes sense because it's a pattern associated with preppy or wealthy styles and characters, but it's also black and white in coloring. When JD and Veronica frame Heather's death as a suicide, it painted the picture of her being a damaged soul that was taking frustrations out on people that didn't deserve it. But this bullying was still very much a conscious choice. She wasn't a follower, she was the ringleader. And that's how simple it was. That's how black and white it was. Further down, she's wearing Argyle socks, which is associated with both high status because of its origins and rebellion because of its more punk cult following. Heather is a teen who rebels against her parents, clearly, but she's also greatly adheres to the same status quo that her parents probably do and enforces this pecking order at school. She's tradition and rebellion. Moving to Duke, her skirt is pure black. The black and white isn't needed to symbolize how people are wrong about Chandler. Duke doesn't die and as such, she takes control of the Heathers and showcases that she may have been a bit more evil than Chandler with even more repressed anger. She's undoubtedly cruel, mocking Martha for her unaliving attempt, her green representing envy, judgment, and stagnation, since she changes nothing about the status quo. Her black skirt represents dominance, intimidation, and power, and the lack of a pattern showcases how she's consumed by her newfound power. Her socks also add to this, matching the black of her skirt, but ending in green, with many different shades of green all over it. She's hiding her insecurities behind her new power and overcompensating. Now to McNamara, whereas Chandler and Duke have colors to contrast their own signature colors, McNamara is completely coated in yellow. Yellow is associated with happiness, kindness, and a sense of childishness, which can apply to McNamara. However, the color's negative traits also apply, such as cowardice and deception. McNamara is the complete opposite of Chandler. She is a follower. She actively helps in Billy and Martha, and she keeps Veronica locked out alongside Duke, knowing that Kurt and Ram would attempt to SA her. So what changes? Well, the bullying. Chandler bullied Duke more and now that Chandler is dead, Duke is in control and Veronica is drifting away, that leaves her to be Duke's constant punching bag. She had no issues with the bullying and status quo so long as she wasn't the victim of it. The large amounts of yellow she's surrounded in is her deception. You would subconsciously think she's the nicer member of the group because of it, but she really isn't. Her entire outfit's pattern is also just houndstooth. Houndstooth, when looked at side by side with other patterns, look different. She wants to stand out, but she's just a follower. She wants to appear different from the others, but she just isn't. Zooming back out, Chandler's skirt is a combination of both Duke and McNamara's. Duke's takes the black coloring while McNamara takes pattern, indicating who is the leader of this trio and who are her followers. And that's the interesting thing I noticed about their skirts. And socks, I guess. 